Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I was not planning on filming, but I got a package in the mail and I am so pleasantly surprised by it that it made me sit down and film this video right now. I will be headed to the gym in literally like a couple hours, so I gotta get this done quick, but I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. Y'all know I do a lot of hauls, a lot of makeup shopping. I also include some hair, some nails, tutorials, reviews, a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So everything related to beauty. If you want to see what I picked up in this little box, plus some other stuff, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so let's get into it. This box is from Colored Rain. I got an email saying that they had a volume one bundle box. I don't know. It was $45. The value of it was $108. I should probably pull this up so I can give y'all all the good details. But here's the thing that got me. They brought back the Safari Rain palette. Now, I missed out the first round of this, wasn't checking for it. I'm not even sure I was that big into makeup then. I was just kind of like shopping Sephora Ulta kind of thing. So when it came back in stock, I was like, oh yeah, I need to have this. Where is it? When it came back in stock and they did like this limited whatever sale that they did, however long ago, a couple years, few years, I don't know. I bought a bunch of them. I resold them, made a couple dollars off the resale, but now it's back and it's like $25 on the website. But this bundle has that palette in it along with some other stuff. I'm not even sure I've used the other one. I feel like it's kind of a collector's thing for me that I just really wanted to have. But now that I have two, I'm probably going to pull the other one out and start using it. Look at, let me take this out because I got this separate yeah one thing separate look at all the stuff that came in this box y'all this whole thing was forty dollars it's the icon makeup bundle box now you got to pick this in terms of your shade range so normally i would have picked i think deep was the next one but this comes with a bronzer and I already have the bronzer that was included with the deep. So I picked tan. So this bronzer is lighter than the other colored rain bronzer that I have. But let's get into it. So first thing in this box is the Queen Bee, Busy Bee and Bee Please Satin Lipstick Duo. I love the colored rain lipstick formula. I have bought others and... I just was like, all right, y'all got me on that. Two lipsticks. I don't know the original price of their lipsticks off the top of my head, but look at the packaging on these, how cute this is. That kind of iridescent, y'all know how I am, so this is going to look gorgeous on my vanity. But one is, I believe, like a tan. Let's see, this is Busy B. Look at how gorgeous this shade is. I don't want this video to be too long trying to swatch everything, but... That is super pretty. I feel like it'll be a perfect neutral for fall. And then this one is lighter. What did I say the first one was? Yeah, so this one is B Please. I probably should have put that on top of my lips today, but that's what that is. So I just thought, okay, we got two lipsticks, both in neutrals that I'm going to wear. So already winning. Then you got their eyeshadow base, their paint base. This I already have. This is in the shade Rope. Probably going to put this for a giveaway because this is super light, super pigmented. And I, like I said, I already have one. Probably never going to go through it. So probably just going to add this one to a giveaway. But it is a really good eyeshadow base. Then you get this lip liner from the Queen Bee collection. And it's the Buzz. Now, is this a sharpener? Oh, thank you, baby. Jesus, it is not. I don't know why I thought you had to sharpen these. So these are, first of all, let me show you the packaging because I love how it has this little honeycomb detail on the cap. 
but this is in the shade the buzz and i'll go ahead and swatch this real quick because it'll be really hard to see it's feeling a little dry but i'm sure it'll be fine it's retractable so already got bonus points from me and then the other one is a little darker the bees knees so again retractable liners absolutely love so i was like yep i'll take both of those please and you can see this one These are really dry. I was not expecting that, but I love that shade of brown because it's a little more neutral and would probably look good if I just wanted to wear like a lip gloss or not really want to fill in my lips too much. I'm sorry if y'all can hear that noise. Somebody is doing yard work, so please excuse that. You also get a pair of mink lashes, vegan mink lashes. These are 100% handmade. You didn't get to pick. Let me open this which lashes you want they just selected a pair and sent them to you like, those are so pretty so that's what they look like there super wispy definitely more of like an everyday kind of lash than it would be these are very cute definitely see myself wearing those oh and these are called bashful they do have a name on it then we got a Are We Clear lip gloss. So this is one of their lip glosses and it is a clear. I only have one other clear lipstick, clear lip gloss in my collection and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills and it came in a set like this one. I don't see myself ever buying a clear lip gloss. That's just not really my vibe. Mainly because when I put stuff on my lips, Unless it's a lip oil, I want it to kind of even things out. So it needs to have a little bit of pigmentation for me. This was something else that I was like, oh, this is perfect. I definitely want to have it. This is the Marvelous. That's all it says. Was this in the bundle? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to show it anyway because I, I paid for this separately. Yeah, Blush Duo in Marvelous. This was $18. It was on sale. But I just thought this was so pretty. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Look at that. If I was not going to the gym, I would be all over this playing in this right now. I gotta swatch this. Oh, yeah. That is so gorgeous. Yeah, I'm trying not to do too much to go to the gym. Although I have, because I don't care but we're, we're just keeping it toned down i got to mm -hmm. yeah that is perfect that is going to be a perfect combo for the fall and again like i said it was 18 dollars. i have their the collaboration that they did with power i have one of their blush i need to pull that out and see how similar these are it's a blush and highlighter duo and it i don't know how close it is to similar i don't know is it still packed? Hold on, let me check. Okay, it's still packed. <laughs> I'm waiting to unpack my eyeshadows and the stuff I had in my drawer with the glass front on video so I can show you guys my organization and kind of go through my eyeshadow palettes with you again, so that's why. But anyway, I will compare those later when I get that stuff unpacked. Here is the bronzer I was talking about. This is their bronzer in the shade Cinnabe. I have the next one that is darker and i'm trying to remember what the name of it is i'll see if i can pull it up real quick but no i don't have time <laughs> anyway this is what it looks like and we'll go ahead and put it over here so this one is still deep enough to show on my skin and i wanted a bronzer that was a little bit lighter the other one i have is a little bit dark so I just use a light hand with it but I feel like this one I could just kind of dust everywhere and not be as careful with it and it'll still show and look beautiful on my skin I do like this formula a lot so it was kind of just like yeah you like the formula now you have a lighter shade for the winter when you're not as tan you also got two cream blushes. I do not have any of their cream blushes. This first one is in Stiletto Rose. And I knew this one was gonna go well for me. So I was like, yep, definitely want this shade. 
super, super pretty. I have not tried this formula yet, so even more reason for me to want to try it. And then, or I should say even more reason for me to want to get this box. And then this one is Copper Rose. I thought this was going to be a lot lighter than it is. So I was very pleasantly surprised to see what this looked like. Because I really think, y'all didn't I say I wasn't putting nothing else on my face? That this would be like a perfect, yeah, I can see that already. Perfect everyday shade that would look like just the cutest little flush. I feel like I'm not sure y'all can see that a lot, but I can see it. And I don't want to put too much on. Um, just the, a nice little flush for like an everyday neutral look. So, all right. I can see that. I hope y'all can see that. But I think that is a gorgeous shade and will be beautiful for every day. And then last but not least, here is the palette. If you have not picked this palette up, and you love grungy, green, kind of murky, Barbara in a palette. If you love these types of shades, get this palette. It's $25. I was so just like upset because I missed out on the first round of it. And then when it came back, I was like, I need it. I need it right now. But yeah, I just, it's the color story. I honestly... I know I like the formula because I also have the Queen of Hearts formula. Pretty sure I have other color grained palettes too. I don't remember. <laughs> That's why I want to organize my palettes by brand because before I used to just kind of put them in there just for them to fit. And now I've added some extra storage space so I can kind of spread things out to get it more organized the way I want. So. Again, I just thought this box was worth it. I hope they still have it for sale. Let me check, because right now, today is the 26th and it is still for sale right now. So if you can get your hands on it and you love this brand or you just want to try it, I think you should. The other thing I got separate from the box besides the blush and highlighter is this Queen Bee palette. I saw this when it first came out and I wanted it. And then I was like, you don't need that. I'm gonna wait. And then it was on sale for $16. So I was like, you know what? First of all, look how cute this is. You see how you can see the wings flapping? Oh, I love stuff like that. Cute packaging will get me every time. But I just, I ain't gonna lie. This shade right here is what did it for me. Oh God, and this is pretty. I'm not gonna use that a lot probably. Oh, is that a topper? Yeah, she's kind of toppery, but this duochrome, that greenish, why am I swatching everything on this side? I'm just doing right here. Oh, these are both kind of toppery. Mer was not expecting that, but can y'all see the shifts? Let me try to build that up a little more. I mean, you can see it in the pan. The green one doesn't feel as toppery, but topper-ish, toppery, I don't know the word, but yeah, that green one just got me. I was like, I need to have that because it goes like, I hope y'all can see this, like green to pink. My lights are killing me. I'm trying to use some natural light right now too. I feel like, let me do that. Because a lot of times you can see it in the mirror. Is that helping? Kind of. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to get, I'm not going to lie, I paid $16 for that green shade. If I'm completely honest, that is what sold me on it. And it's just so freaking shiny and foily and I had to. I figured while I'm sharing, I might as well share some stuff that I got from TJ Maxx <laughs> the other day. I'm still in the process of shopping for house stuff. So... You go in there, you try to go just looking for what you go in there for, and then you're like, let me browse the makeup aisle and see what they have. I hope, I feel like that is so loud. This dude was doing his yard yesterday. Why you didn't do all this at the same time? Anyway, um, so I'm just gonna share with you guys real quick some of the stuff I picked up. I do have some house items, but not this bag is makeup. <laughs> makeup and body care. So I'm gonna show you the house items real quick. I found these two little ceramic knots 
and I felt like these would be perfect in my bedroom on the nightstand. This says it's actually not ceramic. It is natural marble. I should have known better. If you look close, you can see the marbling detail in it. And it's like that cream natural, but it also has some gray in it, which matches my floors so well. So I wanted to bring this pattern upstairs. My bedroom is like a cream colored bedroom set with neutral carpet. Like it's pretty much, it ain't white, but it's super light. So I'm slowly trying to bring in some deeper colors in it just to give it a little contrast, even though I want to keep it light. So I just got two of those for the nightstands. Then I also picked up this Kopari Tahitian Vanilla Ultra Restore Body Butter. I love this. I have a jar of this on, is it the same one? It might even be the same one, the same scent. Um, on my nightstand right now, I use it every night before bed and I'm running low. So when I saw this, I was like, yep, need to go ahead and grab it. This was only $16.99. I don't know the regular price, but I grabbed it because I saw it. Um, another body care, hair care. Um, this is the Adwa, Adwa, oh Lord, A-D-W-O-A -A Beauty Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. Now I'm a little concerned this is for moisturizing. I do know that because the very first ingredient in it is water. It says no one wants to admit just how kinky they are. Don't worry, we are too. So I'm wondering if this is supposed to be for natural hair. I saw that, but I still wanted to get it because it says it strengthens and repairs for damaged or color treated hair. So we will see. I didn't even smell this. Ooh, that's thick. It smells good though but she's thick that is probably gonna be super heavy on my hair it doesn't say like if it needs to be i just gotta see oh maybe it won't be that bad but it smells good um we'll see i'll let y'all know i don't know anything about this brand but it was in the section with the What's it? Textured hair. I think they now, my TJ Maxx had a section that said for textured natural hair and it had pattern and different kind of um, brands like that. So that was new for me to see. So I kind of gravitated towards that. I also picked up, let me knock all these out right now because I did get four, but I got four because I plan on putting these in all of the bathrooms and I wanted a backup or the guest bathrooms at least, since I have my body butter up here. But this is the Kopari Tahitian Vanilla Hydrating Body Milk. So my office is downstairs. When I'm downstairs, I use the bathroom downstairs. I ain't walking upstairs just to come to my bathroom. And I wash my hands and there is no lotion downstairs. So that's prompted me to look for this. And I ain't gonna lie, the color theme matches with my decor theme. So that's another reason why I picked up almost every bottle they had because now I can make sure it stays within the color family that I want. I also decided to pick up this Chi Keratin Flex Finish Hairspray. It's a flexible hold finishing spray and it has a level three hold. I don't like to put super like, I don't want to hard hold or whatever the name is for level five. I don't want that in my hair, in my natural hair because I don't need it. I want my hair to still be able to move. But like, if I were trying to like put this here and I wanted it to stay, I would spray that. I'm not doing it right now because I don't need hairspray in my hair. Or maybe let's see how it works on these flyaways. It smells good. Yeah, I don't want my hair to feel crunchy, but I like how this smells. So love the Chi brand. I know you gotta be careful buying stuff like this from TJ Maxx and like not salons and everything because I guess they can expire. I have no idea, but I've never had any issues. So this is something I've never seen. Wanted to try it out. Up next, I was excited about this one. The box looked janky. So I was like, Lord, has somebody opened this and swatched it and played in it? That pisses me off. At TJ Maxx and Marshalls, you have to be careful with that. Even at the um, cosmetics company store, I bought something that was in a box and then I got it home and it was open. So I always like to check that, especially in these stores. But this is the one size matte eye topper. 
This is in the shade Open to All. I have been wanting to try these and I almost bought one at Sephora during the sale and I was like, Barbara, you don't need that. But when you find it at Marshalls for $6.99, yeah, you need it. So this is just one of the cream eyeshadow shades and I opened this and I was like, that is so pretty. Like, I'm not even sure how I would use this but I just saw that shade like that is giving me a lipstick vibe but if you wanted to do like a monochromatic color on the lid I'm sure I have a blush this color because this is literally Barbara in a monochromatic look like that terracotta brown red so gorgeous so I think that would look so we're not doing it today we don't have time to play I think this would look so good on my eyes so I'm definitely gonna put this out somewhere to be used in my next trying new makeup video because I want to try this on camera figure out how I want to use it and get your feedback to see if y'all have used it do you like it y'all let me know next I picked up this honest beauty lit powder blush now I thought based on how this looked in the pan that this was a cream but now I can read because that is fundamental and it says it is a powder. This box also looked janky, but it was not used. This is in the shade Frisky and it was only $6. But when I opened it, because yes, I opened it, it's kind of giving, giving me Glossier vibes. It's white. You probably can't see the embossing that is on here. It looks like just a little butterfly. I don't know why I thought this was... Is it going to fall out? No. Okay. I thought this was a cream just by how it looks in the pan, but it is not. But I just want to swatch her because I just thought she was going to be so beautiful. Yes. That is a gorgeous blush shade and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I have not tried any blushes from this brand. I always try to come up with these excuses of like, I haven't tried this and I wanted to see. It was pretty and it was on sale. That's the answer for 90% of my makeup that's on sale that I bought. Excuse. That's my reason. That's all. Getting down to the wire. I picked up KVD Good Apple Balm. I have not seen these in TJ Maxx or Marshalls before. I do have this already and I have it in the shade Tan 74, I believe, which is a little too olive for my liking some I don't know I don't know why I ended up picking that shade and I think I picked this one up too and then I brought it back but I decided to pick this up because I was like I'm pretty sure that shade is gonna look good on me they got this one like tape tape like y'all not about to play with this um I always get nervous when they have this tape on it and it says alarming I'm like does that mean if I try to open it to see if it's swatched an alarm's gonna go off or is that only for when you try to steal. Um, but yeah, that's what this looks like. Y'all know this is like, I love this shade. Slightly red, a little, but it's neutral. And I love a neutral shade on me. Let me grab my other one. So then this way I can show y'all the difference in what I meant by, oh yeah, mm -mm, I don't know what. I think I just thought at the time, like you can see clear differences on those, so. Probably end up mixing them. I'm not a fan of mixing foundations to get my right shade unless it is the same foundation. I know that you can mix different finishes and formulas and probably get like the most perfect concoction, but I am a purist and I don't want to have to do that. So if I got to find my right shade, I would rather find my right shade mixing two of the same foundations to get the perfect shade than mixing a different brand to get the right shade and then it changes the formula or whatever so I know that's silly but that's just my preference and since I'm able to do it that's what I choose to do last three things we have are well we got one face palette and two eyeshadow palettes so this first face palette I saw a lot of Violet Voss which I don't think I've seen a lot of before this is their bubbly blush palette this was on sale forever on Sephora's website and I swear I thought about it and I kept thinking about it and I may have even seen it in store and I don't know why I kept passing on it but I see it in Marshall's for $7.99 
we're not going to pass again. So this is what it looks like. And then these are the shades. I'm going to swatch this highlighter. I'm praying she's not too, okay, good. She's not too gold. We don't like gold. We'll put her right here. Oh, is she too gold? I think she'll be all right. She's a little gold. That's not my favorite type of highlighter shade. But I also think I remember passing on this because I was like, this shade's not going to look good on me. And now that's all the rave, this light bluish kind of pink. And then I did think that this was going to be too light, but I feel like this would be the perfect flush of color for a no makeup makeup look. And then of course, y'all know that's me. So $7. I don't think it ever went on sale that much at Sephora. So that was another reason why. I was like, yeah, it's finally time to bring you home and add you to my collection. This next one, I don't know. This was just kind of a whim. This is the Violet Sunset Palette. I have another haul coming because I shopped thanks to Jamila. <laughs> I am Jamila. She has a channel here on YouTube. She said that Ipsy had like a shopping site where you could actually go and they had the Natasha Denona palette for sale. And I was like, when did Ipsy start selling that? So I went on the website and apparently Ipsy, BoxyCharm and something else have all combined into one website now. So I could see getting it from BoxyCharm. I know BoxyCharm is more expensive for their subscription because they tend to have more brand names, but now it's all combined. So I'm pretty sure I saw this on there and I didn't get it because I didn't, I was like, I don't know. I didn't see it in person, whatever. I'm a very visual in person. I like to see. And then I saw this and I was just like, oh, that is actually really, really pretty. So I don't know. I just, it says Violet Sunset and I hope that this color story is showing i feel like it kind of is but it's not showing the depth that i see like this shade right here super pretty let me see how she swatches Ooh, it's kind of giving me like one of the anastasia beverly hills palettes vibes but i feel like there are shades in there that i could use for every day that's pretty oh yeah that is a very nice matte very pigmented I feel like everything is looking like ultraviolet right now. I'll see how it looks when I edit. <laughs> but yeah, so this was just kind of a, another whim. This was $10. I'm not sure how much it was on the Ipsy website, but it got me in person. Last thing I picked up, y'all, I ain't even gonna lie. This was straight nostalgia. I don't know if I'm gonna even use it because it's probably gonna go on the top shelf of my little makeup storage area over here. But I didn't even know they had this. Violet Voss and the Care Bears. I have two Care Bears. One I got as a gift from a friend several years ago. And then the other one I have, I have a pink one. Is it her? Is it the rainbow? Is that, that's not what I have. I have the hearts. Let me see. I have the hearts. So I don't know. It's not none of these. Maybe there's new Care Bears. Anyway, I have a pink one. I've literally had that bear since I was under the age of 10. I am 41. That bear has been through it with me and she has moved every time. And I don't know how I have kept her in as good condition as I have, but that is my baby. Her name is Gimme because that is what I named her when somebody was trying to steal her. And they were like, well, what's her name? And I'll give it back. And I said, Gimme, now Gimme. So that's her name. But I saw this and I was just like, I don't even care so much about the colors, even though this is a very gorgeous, colorful palette. I did not care. I looked at it and I was like, I'm probably never going to wear this, but she needs to be in my collection. And I think it was how much? $10 as well. So I don't know. You know how people choose to decorate their rooms with certain stuff. I do have some pieces in here or some products that I have bought strictly for decorative purposes. This is probably going to be one of them. The last thing I picked up, I needed a stool for this damn room because I'm tired of going in the other closets or downstairs to get a stepping stool. So I picked up one of these and I was so happy to see that they had this shade of purple because this is the shade that I have in my beauty room and it's marbled and gorgeous. So now I can reach stuff on the top shelf. <laughs> Really silly, but a necessity because that shit was getting on my nerves. 
that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me what you think about that color rain box. You cannot tell me that is not worth the price because it absolutely is. Comment below. Let me know if you've picked it up. What do you think about it? Are you going to pick it up now that you've seen this video? Let me know if you were able to snatch it. I can't wait to hear from you guys. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family and I will see you in my next video. Bye.